Hey everybody, this is yet another computer tech video by Q Computer Company and today I'm going to be talking about how to get the most out of your digital cable service using a computer with Windows 7 Media Center. This here is actually a Mitsubishi WD57734 rear projection DLP te television, 1080p high definition TV and I did a DLP chip replacement on this TV a while back and my dad got this at a yard sale for a hundred bucks on my birthday. Kind of surprising, but um, anyways, I used to have the TV box in here as a standard media center setup with analog cable. Because, I mean, you couldn't really get much out of digital cable with a standard rear projection TV. That was only 480i. But ever since we got this TV here, I've always been wanting to get the Windows Media Center TV box upgraded to digital cable. And we have finally got it upgraded. It is digital cable compliant. It runs a cable car tuner. Just, I mean, it operates really close similar to a set-top box. The only thing you don't get is on-demand programming. But, um, anyways, if you want to check out how that works, I'm using the Seton Infinity TV for cable car tuner. It's actually on a whole different computer. And it's actually in the Mattel Hard Lux. And this computer accesses that TV tuner via network. And it's really interesting how it works. But anyways, um, Right now, the computer is actually playing a background video that I created for some of my videos. Now let's go ahead and um, go ahead and get started. Okay, I went and closed out that video, and this is actually the Windows desktop. Rarely ever do we ever see the desktop on this computer because it's always in Windows Media Center. And here I have a remote control. This remote control, these kits usually go for about twenty bucks on the internet. And basically, you have this remote control and an IR receiver that plugs into the USB port on the computer. I'm going to load up one of the media center. This remote is designed for one of the media center. It has a media center start button and that kind of stuff on it. I'm going to show what one of the media center looks like. This is what one of the media center looks like. This is a feature of Windows 7 Home Premium and higher and is a pay for feature in Windows 8. Yes, you have to pay for it in Windows 8. You have to get the professional version and then um, pay an additional thing, 10, 20 bucks for the add-on. So just get Windows 7, you'll get the same media center for um, for no extra cost. It becomes standard. But anyways, Windows Media Center is a component that Microsoft has been designing since the XP days. They started this in Windows XP, and I think they created either one or two versions within XP, and they did a roll-up to the 2005 version. They continued it in the Windows Vista, and we're looking at the Windows 7 version. Basically, you have your TV, which is, you can, have, you can access recorded TV, which I don't think there's any recorded TV on this computer yet. It's just, um... There's a couple of things. It's just actually just um, we do have some record TV on there, but um, anyways, yeah, record TV. You have a guide. Now, of course, I can't play any TV shows in the video because that would be copyright infringement. This stuff's copyright. I can't be playing it. But anyways, um, you have your program guide. And um, you can actually go by categories such as like HD, kids, sports, that kind of stuff. I'll leave it on HD. But um, anyways, the cable service is Time Warner Digital Cable. And your channels are exactly the same between the set-top box and the cable card device. Go back here. I've got to aim my remote in the right direction. You can hit this button and go live TV or you can search, that kind of stuff. There's a movies tab, and guess what? Windows Media Center has Netflix built in, so even though you can't get actual, um, you can actually get on-demand features with this, you have Netflix, which is I think like eight bucks a month, something like that. It's a very nice thing and it works well with Windows Media Center. And of course you have the movie library and you have a separate movie guide. This goes, this actually looks on your program guide and this looks for movies. So that way you can go find movies and stuff. 
And the good thing about this is, um, let's say if you want to have services like HBO and Showtime and that kind of stuff, with a digital cable car tuner, you can subscribe to those for additional fees per month from your cable company. But I had assume use Netflix. I don't I don't really watch movies that much, but I'm get back to the main menu here. Apparently this remote's getting low on batteries. But um anyways, you got your movie guide, search, and you have a function to play a DVD. I'm kinda of surprised them. I guess maybe you have to have a Blu-ray ROM drive installed to be able to get a Blu-ray function. I ain't hundred percent sure. You have a music library, which is a very, very nice thing in the media center. Let's see if you had a lot of music that you purchased and or just ripped to CD. I haven't even set this up yet, but um, this is just the music that comes with Windows Media Center. I'm not going to play it because I'm not sure about the royalties on it. But um, you can sort by albums, artists, genres, songs, playlists, blah, blah, etc. Windows Media Center also has a very nice pictures and videos library. Which of course it's going to say set it up because I haven't set it up yet. We got some sample pictures and stuff that NVIDIA has included on here for some reason because the graphics card is NVIDIA. But these are just the Windows sample pictures, that kind of stuff. We have extras. We have, let's see, games like Chess Titans. Spider Solitaire. This is the digital cable advisor. You must run this when you're going to run a cable card device on your computer. If you're interested, feel free to watch my other video about um, the Seton cable card tuner for more information about that. You have extras. We go back. The extras gallery. It's just another view. It's about the same thing. But this um this one is me center. I just um. A cable guy come by today to work on the cable lines, get the signal up, and he mentioned that well, not many people are using cable cards. And I just want to share with you all that your computer with Windows 7 has a very nice feature in it. And when you set it up like this on a TV in a remote control, you have one probably one of the nicest um, home entertainment suites you can get. I mean, you, you have music, pictures, videos. All that stuff centered in the one thing. You have your Netflix. You can also install add-ons for probably like Hulu and YouTube and everything else. Which I meant to show you um, sports. You have a separate sports tab that shows what's on now, what's on later. You can look at the scores. Players, leagues, that kind of stuff. Very feature rich. And of course you have your general task right here. You can shut down and restart the computer etc from here. Have a whole setting thing here. And you also have a learn more thing here. Burn CD DVD. Sync. Add extender which extenders are devices such as Xbox 360's and other things that extend the Windows Media Center environments other TVs in the home. So with the Seton Infinite TV 4 quad tuner card, you can run four TVs with just one cable card device. Not four set top boxes, none of that. Just one cable card device. You can actually, with some cable providers, you can actually apply for a bring your own box credit on packages that require a set top box and, and uh, just avoid the set top box fee. And this right here, in my opinion, just blows a set top box out of the water. Anyways, um, get back to the main menu here. This is just a little overview of Windows Media Center, and I really recommend that if you have Windows 7 Home Premium or higher, even if you don't have a TV tuner installed, just go into Start All Programs, or you can just go to Start and search for Windows Media Center and start it up and just check it out. So that way, if um, you're interested in possibly having a setup like this, many technicians can set these things up for you. And you can also look online. There's there's actually TV turn devices that plug into the USB port, so you don't have to crack open the computer case. But um, 
I recommend you check this out. So anyways, and request for comments. Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.